So I want to make a tool. I have this um, piece of brown bar. It's red flavored. And I was thinking I would just make a, a good old slide cutter. I guess it would just have a little cutting thing on the edge and it goes around in a circle. I have a couple of options for holding it. I've got one of these um, adapters um, for a drill truck. I think C22 is the size. Uh, 2R8, because my mole is an R8. Um, the alternative is I've got an ER32 holder. Um, and that goes up to 20 moles, and I've got some 20 mole um, steel here. So, the plan is to turn down one of these chunks of steel to one that's the raw end. I think this is just bright light steel. Um, I'll probably drill a 20 mil hole in the middle and then take a piece of the 20 mil shaft steel, put it in, give it as much of a weld as I can and treat them up with the lathe and then go back to the milling machine and cut a slot at the right place and angle, which I really have no idea what the right place and angle is. I think I'm just gonna tilt it up a few degrees and then make it so that one side of the cut is in the center of of the fly cutter. So if we're looking from the bottom, one of the cuts will be directly across the center and the other one will be offset. So I can put the tool in there and then I know that this leading edge of the tool is this going to go away, is directly in the center. I'm just assuming that's the way you're supposed to do a fly cutter. And then we'll probably have to mold another little section out over here so that we can put some some bolts in from the side. I don't really know what can go wrong. Um, this is going to take quite a bit of truing because this is just an off cut that I got from the steel shop. I'll show you. That's not ideal. Let's take a look at the tools that I have and um, we can kind of get started. So here we are at the, uh, the lathe. It's a South Bend um, Model A or 9 or something like that. It didn't come with the original drive chain, so I've just got a sort of a, I think it's a 1.5 kilowatt or 2.2 kilowatt, that's three horses. Um, motor, three phase with a little VFD that's connected. Um, so I've got a little control box here, speed and on off and that kind of a thing, um, which is really useful. Uh, it just makes it quite simple. Let's get going. Pretty much just put it on whatever speed I want and then uh, we're going to get cutting. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not
So um, we're going to start with the spotting drill, go to 10 probably and then I think I've got an 18.75 and then we'll, we'll bore it out from there. <laughs> Not too bad. steel so we're back here essentially this is too long so we're back at the mill I got one of these um what are you going R rose cutters shell cutters I, I, I don't know this is a like a lot of my tooling, it's from Banggood. Um, I'm a bit lazy with the drawbar, so... Also, this is actually a knockoff from Banggood. It's not particularly strong. It takes the Makita batteries, because that's what I've got otherwise. They work pretty well, in my opinion. Um, so now we can sort of pick whatever angle you want. I'm going to go with a pretty low angle. Just like that. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna crank down pretty hard on the bias. And I'm gonna hope that the camera doesn't fall over. I reckon if I do it over here, that should be fine. Thank <laughs> you. 
presto. So, things worked out. Between the first and the second side, um, it was pretty clear that the whole thing had shifted a little bit, and so I just skimmed off the top again. Really doesn't matter. Um, next up, I'll just cut a slot through. Probably do a guesstimate as to where the middle is. So, um, cooling's a bit more important here. Not gonna run as fast. I sort of touched off to get the top height. I'm also gonna go probably only 12 mils down or something like that, but I'll do that in two passes, probably. I need to find the center still, and then offset sort of six mils one way, because this is a 12 mil cutter, and then I know that one edge is gonna be very close to the center, and that's good enough for me. <laughs>
right, so we're just about done. We've got to drill a few holes over here. It didn't come out perfectly, but I think maybe you've picked up that I honestly don't care. <laughs> That looks okay. Let's go um, chamfer them, tap them. So it's there. Can you see it? This is kind of silly in my opinion, but. Hey, now I've got this piece of aluminium, which is on the scrap yard, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to see if I can go across it. I'm like, relatively scared as things go. Let me wipe off the top. I've been sitting around the workshop for a while. Crikey, I'm scared. So we can see this was my first attempt. It wasn't a great attempt, but um, I changed the the cutter shape. That's slightly better, I think. 